Hello everybody, my name is Eric and welcome to my first Let's Play. I've never completed the game before in Ender Dragon, so I'm going to give that a try. And we're going to do this in easy, so I actually have, you know, a chance to do it. We're not going to play around with any of the other options. We're going to do an easy map, or sorry, easy difficulty, medium map, original skin, and just see what happens. I'm going to get the music turned down right away so people can hear me. Now, I've, as I said, I've only been playing for about eight months. Thanks to my son who wanted Minecraft for Christmas and uh, needing to have help with some of the reading, I decided to help him learn the game. And being a gaming person, that just started and opened up a big, big problem with how much I fell in love with Minecraft. And I've been playing it ever since, almost more than any other game I've ever played before. And now, of course, I'm just going to do the grab of first wood. Get that sound turned off so you can hear me. stick around here for a few minutes and wait to see if anything falls. I always keep things the exact same way every time we're playing. And just in case. Now, for those of you who know me, I have a little bit of a survival mentality. So we're going to play the survival style. As soon as we die, we're going to stop the game and start a new map. So, wish me luck. Now, I'm going to just take a quick look around here and see if there's anything interesting where they've decided to load the seed and spawn point. Oh, always pick up the extra gear when you can, and I'm seeing some sugar cane right off the bat oh and sheep sheep is always a good sound and i hear i see white that's snow oh good fun stuff okay there's one piece of my bed this doesn't actually look like too bad of a oh, pumpkins pumpkins and sugar already can I be seeing pumpkin pies in my future? Oh, armor. Walking armor. I'll take some walking armor. Part two of my bed. More armor. And you came back. Thank you. All right. You know what? This actually, my, my original spawn point may just be a good location after all set up a little bit of a starter camp. I'm going to do things because we're going to stay focused and just go straight to quests. I'm not going to do any fun, fancy builds. I'm going to keep things fairly primitive. I'm not going to go with any of my crazy structures that I've been trying on the side. I'm actually playing a survival game where I'm building a full castle, but earning it and actually having to do all of the mining myself. I am playing a little bit of it in peaceful to just try to not have the mobs bug me all the time. But I am playing quite a substantial amount of it in easy and keeping the mobs active, which is always becoming a little bit of fun. So we've got our starting a little bit of cobblestone ready. Just be the area we call home. Okay, start that. Did you see any? I didn't see any apples fall yet. Nor did I see any saplings fall. What's going on with these trees? Come on, oak trees. Where's your sapling? How can I be a good forest person? How can I be a good forest person if you don't give me the saplings to replant you? Alright, 
sometimes you're going to sound a little bit weird. I am just going to keep on talking as much as I can so you don't have to look at the screen and go, oh, isn't this amazing? I'll actually try to explain what I'm thinking and why I'm doing it so you understand the direction of the screen and the direction that this character is doing in the world. So we're just sticking around trying to grab these apples, trying to grab some seedlings, trying to grab all of the basic early supplies for night one. Still not a lot of saplings fall. No apples out there yet. Bacon. Ooh, I hate Ooh. What is there? So yes, Quest for the Ender Dragon is sort of already a title of uh, already some pretty famous YouTubers. So we're not calling it that, but I am definitely going to try to look at getting there. Because I've never done that before. Um, I also want to try to get a cat. I can't remember if I already talked about that this video. I've uh, attempted to do a let's play and record it once or twice already before and have had some editing issues so I've restarted a few times. This is my third restart and trying to actually get an active let's play going that will work. So far, so good. And this seed really does seem to be a nice little starting point. The only thing I haven't heard is that lovely cluck cluck of chickens for my arrows. Ah, speaking of the little feathered friends, hello. I'll leave you alive because you will call some of your friends over. I know you will. No. And yes, I am doing a lot of killing and not worrying about which guys are with me right now. Leaving any around. I'll do some restocking later if I decide they're sticking around here. Let's get some height and take a look at where we're at here. Jeez. No wonder there was some white on that map. Okay. Well, that gives us good ammo for nether runs. So, wow, it's going to be a lot of climbing in this game, apparently. I wonder if all of the maps are going to be like this. Maybe it's just this one biome. That's some pretty extreme hills. That's some extreme, extreme hills. So I'm not seeing any quick swamps. I always like trying to get near a swamp or knowing where they are, because... Slimes are very good, quick, easy ways to get experience. You know what? That island right there. If I clear off the top a little bit of it, would make a nice little base. And I could keep things from spawning. I'm going to go. It's right across from my beach here. I'm going to go across there. See if that would be a good place to call home for the first little part of this adventure as I do the stocking up and the equipment gathering for the rest of this could be long lived story hopefully long lived as I said if I die I'll do another map and uh, am I not collecting any of this I need a shovel here I am, talking away, just slapping away with it with this pork chop and not collecting a single thing. And I left my table down there. Ah, oh, amateur mistake, jeez. I do play this game, honestly. have to take nothing but snowballs if you're going into the nether. 
or do a couple of trips and uh, sort of stock up a chest or two in a safe house. And uh, that will give you some good ammo. Free ammo is such a valuable thing. And uh, as I said, I am playing this in survival mode, so that's what, this is what my survival mind is telling me to do right now. I know blazes are going to be essential fairly early game if we want to start getting those enchantments going. So, snowballs and nether stocking it is. for now. I never know what else I'm going to find along the way. Alright, and it's already starting to get dark, so maybe I'll go and explore that other one later. I will just get myself a little bit of a hidey hole now. Right, two. Ooh, that's a good sound. That's a cave sound. Hello, cave. Where you see there's a cave? Is there a cave over here? only got two wolves so far, so this is going to be a long night for you guys, with no sleeping as an option, unless we can find one more, Sorry, that was the word I was fighting for. One more wool before the night before the night fully sets on us. Somehow doesn't look too likely. Okay, mobs are gonna be spawning any second now. I gotta get myself into a hidey hole. Where'd my beach go? I lost my beach. How can I lose a whole beach? Here's my beach. Here's one of my crafting tables. Okay, any mobs? Mobs yet? No? Okay. Where to dig, dig. Gotta get inside. Mm, this'll do. I know I took too much snow. I'm going to be getting rid of snow at least two or three more times tonight. I guarantee it. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little bit of a door. And since I can't use the wool for a bed, we might as well use it for a door. I'm just kidding. That's just being silly. Let's do what any respecting minecrafter would do and use the table as a door. There we go. Okay, so first and foremost, we are going to need more wood going on. And we don't have much coal, but there's some here. We need a chest, we need a furnace. Okay, and oh, yes, the other important thing. Ever important. Right. Ah, much better. I can almost see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to do a little bit of organizing here, and I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to do a quick edit while I go through some of the nightly routine save a little bit of time i'll be right back food food is a good thing food will be looks like it's going to be a little far fetched for this evening but it's already morning So, it's time to go for a little bit of a swim. La 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 
I believe it was this way. friends. Come on, chicken. You can come with me. Yep. You. You've been invited to the island. Come see the island. Well. Looks to be interesting. Snowy biome if I need it. So restocking. Excuse me, could be handy. Ah, more sheep. Definitely handy. A little bit of a cave. A little bit more of a cave. Did that come in? Ooh, as a donkey. That was part of my quest. Oh, look at that. Alright, maybe I'm going to have to doesn't look to be as much of an island as I thought it was originally. It looked more island-esque. From above. But, still, I'm liking the area, and I now know there's donkeys around here. Before I forget, let's go and get my other piece of bed. Because we still haven't committed to any specific spot. Oh, another cave. Another. Good times. Good times. I always love the sound of those steaks and burgers. Steaks and armor. Let's explore a little bit more before we decide on going anywhere. area. Not quite feeling it yet. Ooh. Uh. That's not the sound I want with no armor. So let's just walk away from that. Okay. Keeping an eye on the melons. Keeping an eye on the town. Redstone to start making another. So, start picking a spot. Gotta find it. There's gotta be one spot. Start getting a good vibe on in this first map. I'm sure of it. Just gotta find it. Waterfalls are good. Caves are good. Wolf, I did not go near you. Normally I'd be grabbing that mushroom, but I don't want to fill up that last inventory spot quite yet until I found a new home. I like it. sort of that look of that peak over there. Got a thing for either homes in holes or homes in mountains. If I'm doing a survival, it's only when I actually start doing the builds, entertainment, do I actually start build 
building buildings to live in. Okay, so I've walked all the way over to the outcrop that I thought I liked in the distance, but it's just way too steep of a climb. It's going to take way too much work to make that a usable home. So, it's starting to get dark. I'm going to grab myself a lot of lava leather. Make myself a bed. not having to go through the painful journey of me picking a spot. I'm going to just do a little bit of exploring. Oh, thank you, Rain. Now you can hear me. I'm going to go do a little bit of exploring off camera and uh, I'll do a couple of edits here of uh, some of the locations I was thinking of and we'll, you'll see what happens. Okay, so this has a little bit of potential, maybe. Good natural cave. Oh, it doesn't go too far back. Well, oh, down pretty quick, though. in a minute. Now this might have some potential. Not only do we have the mushroom biome, we've got snow, but we've got mob sounds, which could be either a cave, or if we're lucky, a spawner that we can take advantage of. And we've got a mushroom. Oh, this is so, so the place for me. Here is my starter base. I am going to do my mining and everything from here. So, was this that, that this was that cave? This was the cave? Okay. We will do a little bit of securing the entrance and I'll show you guys what it looks like in a minute I gotta stop pressing that other button okay so done a little bit of cleaning up and puttering around this is what we've got as a basic home set. as I said we're not going to be doing anything major fancy if I decide to do some mining I've got some mining here I can do basic bed Double furnace, crafting table, skylight, so I can see what's going on until I get a clock. Storage, only the food chest is set up. I just got a bow over the last night. I have stocked up on some mushroom stew already. Came in and uh, decided to visit as I was building the wall. So this is the base here. I'm gonna do some more gardening here. I'm gonna get things set up. But gonna go explore and find some iron next. But this is our starter base for now. Fortified. Place to go fishing. Right off the biome. I've added lights around here so the mobs won't spawn. So, it's 
far as I know, they don't spawn on the mushroom biome, they don't spawn in the light level, so anything on this side of me, in theory, I hate having to use that word, but in theory, that should be completely mob proof. And then I've got the ma the base here. Nothing can jump in, nothing can go around, and fortified. Well, that's going to be it for the first full session of Season 1, or at Part 1. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. If you like what you saw, leave a comment. I'll make sure to give you a little bit of a hat tip on the next episode. And we'll see you all later.